First and foremost, talk about the performance of the defense this past weekend against Indiana. You gave up 500 yards, but you forced those five turnovers. How key was that for you guys to uh, help this team get that victory? Well, I think we uh, suffered some blows early, and we gave us some big yards, but um, going into the game, we wanted to force three turnovers and we forced five. Uh, giving up that many yards, uh, you usually get blown out, but uh, being able to force turnovers, uh, making Indiana throw the ball, it kind of helped us in the end. We got those turnovers, and it uh, helped us get the victory. How do you keep your, your, your sense of confidence throughout that game when you give up big plays like that in the beginning and, and knowing that it's still a 60-minute game and you guys can still have one big turnover, whether you give up 500 or 1,000 yards? How do you guys keep that sense of confidence that you can still make a play to win this game? Uh, it starts uh, Tuesday, Tuesday morning, full pads. Uh, if you know you prepare well, then no matter what, if you go in and give up a big play, you know your scheme will come together and you'll be able to execute the defense to stop Indiana. So I think by preparing well, everybody watching film and everybody being confident in each other and being confident as a whole defense, it definitely helped us when we gave up that early touchdown. It helped us throughout the game. Just the feeling of the program and uh, the, the the atmosphere around campus right now, knowing they have a football team that's 4-0 right now. They're not used to that around here. Right. What, do you see the difference? Do you see the way, you know, the fellow students are greeting you guys and just, you know, congratulations, pats on your backs? How are you guys dealing with that right now? Well, uh, I mean, I definitely see the difference. Everyone's uh, congratulating us and everything. But, I mean, we just have to remain focused. I mean, it's, the, it's a long season, four games. I mean, we, we surpassed what we won the last two years, but it's still four games. We have to focus on Indiana and going. I mean, we have to focus on NC State and going 1-0 this week. Just talking about NC State, you know, being an in-state showdown, any extra motivation going down to Raleigh to play this guys? Well, I think. Uh, it's just a game that we have to go out and play ball. I mean, they're a great team. They have great skill players, a uh, great O-line. Uh, the last two years, they have gave it to us. So, you know, we have to just go out and execute the defense how, uh, like Coach Elko wants us to. We have to uh, not give up any explosive plays. We have to stop the run. We just have to play ball. Talk about well against the run last week and, um, you know, gave up a lot of big passing yards. What's different this week because NC State, you know, they run the ball fairly well. You know, what are you looking to do against NC State? Try to stop the run and, and, and pass. Well, we're just going to uh, line up and just go, uh, stop the run and force them to throw. And if they throw, uh, our DBs, we have some great DBs, so they're going to make plays in the secondary, and hopefully it'll work out for us because NC State is a great team. We have a good defense, so it'll be a great game. What did y'all learn from about your defense against Indiana? Well, we learned we have uh, a very resilient defense. Uh, even being down, giving up that early 76-yard touchdown, we, we, we went into ourselves and just knew that we were confident and that we worked hard over the last two years, worked hard all summer, all fall camp, and we knew that we would gel as a group, and we know that we are really good. We just have to play with confidence and go out and ball. What areas of defense you think uh, uh, are strong um, and that you can use to exploit um, NC State's offense? Well, I think every position is strong. We don't have one weak leak in the defense. I mean, everybody just has to go out and play assignment sound. Um, D-line has to get pressure. Linebackers have to play the run and play at depth and pass. And DBs just have to go out and be ball hawks. So, I mean, as a whole, the defense has to play well.